Hey you guys, it's Megan and I'm here to bring you my March 2019 empties and I'm super happy because my little makeup empties bag has a good deal of stuff in here. So I'm gonna start there as always and then go into like the skincare and body care and stuff that I used up this month. So I finally finished my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Auburn. These take me so long to finish. There's like a like freaking millimeter or less in here but it just like scratches my eyebrow when I try to use it so this is Dunzo this is a great product I really really enjoy it however I like the brow pencils that are more like a little like wedge or like triangle shape it just really makes it a lot faster for people like me that already have a good amount of like brow to work with like I have a lot of brow hair and my brow is pretty thick so it's just like way faster I don't need a super small pencil because I'm not doing detail work for my brows so I'm working through two Anastasia uh, brow whizzes which is this is like a drugstore dupe for that and I would recommend either. They're both good, but it's not something I would go out of my way to repurchase necessarily because I do like the larger size of like the um, Anastasia Brow Definer. That's my favorite. Then I have two pairs of false lashes that I'm going to say goodbye to because, and I need you guys' feedback on this, I don't know how to clean my false lashes like these just look dingy af and there's like because i wear a lot of glitter on my eyes there's like glitter stuck in the band and it's just i don't want to keep re-wearing them because they just don't look very nice anymore so i have the ardell um natural 174s which i'm not gonna hold them up too close because they look really disgusting but they're very similar to the ardell demi wispies which is what i have here um demi wispies are more dramatic and the natural 174s are a little bit more natural um as the name would suggest but both are perfect everyday lashes for those of us who don't have a lot of space between your lashes and your brow a lot of lashes are too long they make me look like a drag queen which is not the look I'm going for so these lashes are really nice if you want a shorter length but still want volume and that like nice full lash look it's just they're both really pretty I have backups of both of these but if you have any tips on how to clean your lashes and maintain them for longer please let me know I got probably three or four or five uses out of each of these and that's pretty good but I would prefer to extend them if possible if not that's fine um but I'm, I haven't been wearing false lashes as much lately I was really into it for about like two weeks or so I wore them every single day and then I was just like eh, and then I got lazy and I'm just using mascara now so I'm gonna go in and out of it but if you have like lash cleaning techniques please please share them with me this was an exciting but sad day I finished up my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla you can probably see through it because I really really scraped this baby out like I could not get a single drip out of this anymore and this is probably my favorite concealer that I've ever tried. It's so nice. I only use concealer under my eyes so I can't say how it performs on like um, pimples or anything but I use it under my eyes. It's a nice like medium coverage. It's very natural looking. It doesn't like sometimes it'll settle into my fine lines but I get that pretty much with any concealer but if you just like blend it out it looks perfect and I just love it. I really really do I have my eye on the makeup forever um, ultra HD concealer but I feel like why even bother trying that when I know how much I love this so I'm tossed up on what to get next but I have a few concealers that I'm working through right now then I have this Elemis Lip Revive Moisturizing Lip Reviver. So that says it all. Um, it says the same thing like twice, but this was just a like squeezy tube lip balm that I used after I did my skincare at night. And it's nice. I got it for free, so it was extra nice, but I wouldn't ever repurchase. Like I 
I would definitely use it if I got it for free. It smelled like like peppermints, which I really like um, lip balms that smell like peppermints, and it was a nice like applicator. I mean, it's fine. It's not like the best thing I've ever used in my life, but it was good. Oh my gosh, fine freaking Lee, I used up my NARS deep throat blush and there is like a little bit of powder in here I literally crushed it up in here to get like the corners and stuff but I was just like Megan enough is enough and so I have had this for probably four years probably four years this little little size four years is how long it took me to use it up I obviously didn't use it every day for four years but it is crazy how long makeup lasts and how long it takes to use up or even just hit pan on makeup and this is one of my favorite blushes ever the color is a perfect um peachy pink and i the swatch won't do it justice but it's just so beautiful on the skin and there's a similar color in the nars blush palette that i have so that'll get me through but if I ever want a peachy pink blush like the perfect one ever this is the one NARS deep throat worst name ever best color ever it's so beautiful it just brightens up my face I love it especially for spring and summer for but for all year it's perfect then I have the Hourglass um, Caution Extreme Mascara. So this was a 100 point perk or something. Um, this just got really weird on me. It got really like gloopy. And so it was impossible to work with. Like I feel like the stopper or something wasn't working properly. Um, it was fine. It's a nice voluminous mascara. It transferred on me so I definitely wouldn't ever buy it. Um, but I, I'm just like not into high-end mascaras as much as I used to be like intrigued by them. Now I'm just like, eh, like it's not that big of a deal. The Maybelline Lash Sensational is just as good. This was exciting but sad. It's the um, Stila Man Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in Kit and Karma. And this is literally the babyest size that they have. I took out the stopper and then it just like all dried out so it's just like flakes of glitter there's a lot of products still left in there but you can't get anything out with this little brush and like i said it's just all dried up so this is like a word of caution i guess about these liquid shadows they will dry out and so i have a lot of like the little sizes that i really need to make sure i use on a regular basis so i can get my use out of them because they probably will dry out before you ever end up finishing them and this was a free gift with purchase so it's not i didn't lose out on any money that i spent but it would have been nice to get more use out of this because I really do like this like champagne-y um, glitter. And when they are like creamy and liquidy, how I would recommend using them is applying them on the back of your hand and then like tapping it on with your finger. It's just a more um, like distributed glitter effect and they're beautiful. I really, really do love them. So would I repurchase this color? Probably not. I like the diamond dust color better. It's like a silver holographic. It's gorgeous. Um, if I got this for free, hells yes, I would use that. I think it is like a nice everyday type of neutral glitter. So I can see why that's like their most popular uh, shade. And then I finally used up this L'Oreal Color Reach Balm in Nourishing Nude. I kept this at my desk at work and this is all the way twisted up. You can see there's like nothing left. You can get a little swatch but it scratches my lips. So this is dead. They don't even make this anymore. And if they do, they change the color. So it's one of my favorite lip products. I have quite a few backups because I panicked and bought a bunch when they were discontinuing it so I have to work through them and a great place for me to work through lip products is at my desk so right now I'm trying to work on a YSL lipstick that is just a perfect everyday color so once that's gone I'll probably put another nourishing nude to my desk to work on that and so if you have like a desk or a cubicle I have a cubicle I call it my office because I used to have an office and now I 
I can't get used to having a cubicle. <laughs> Trying to use up lip products at my desk just really works out for me, so that's a good tip from me to you. And that is everything in my makeup bag. That that stuff that I used up, a lot of those things took me a long ass time, like the lipstick, the blush, and the concealer, so, and the eyebrow pencil, so I'm really proud of myself for working through stuff and actually finishing it because it takes so damn long. Okay, on to the rest of the goodies. So I finally, finally used up the Garnier uh, Meissler Foaming Cleanser. So this is a like gel cleanser that removes your makeup it's fine. I never would buy it again, no matter how cheap it was. This was $5 on sale, so not like the cheapest ever, but definitely very affordable. Um, it was kind of drying on my skin, as most gel cleansers seem to be, so it was fine. It removed my makeup. It lasted way too long because I didn't really like it. Um, I just wouldn't ever get that again. This, however, I love the Polish Choice Resist Optimal Results results hydrating cleanser this is a product i've gone through time after time after time for years it's a um gel cream cleanser it's a nice dense formula that isn't like as thin as this this was basically like just like a gel liquid cleanser this is like a gel cream so it just has a better like feeling on the skin. It's nice and creamy. It feels more hydrating and it really breaks down my makeup. So I love this for a makeup remover as a second cleanse, as a morning cleanse. It's an all-in-one product for me. Like if I only had one cleanser, I would pick this. This can do it all and I love that it's a pump. I love that you literally can get every last drop out of here and there's like one drip left but I got all of this out with the pump like I didn't have to store it on my vanity and like tap it out it just all is removed with the pump which is something a lot of products don't do and I just love it I've loved it forever and I'll keep loving it I used this up while I was I guess while I was traveling for work or something, um, the Alterna Caviar Replenishing Moisture Shampoo. So I had a little set of this and the conditioner. Conditioners just take me so much longer. I use barely any and then I just like put it in the ends and like a little bit here and then rinse it out automatically because my hair gets weighed down really fast or easily. So this is an amazing shampoo. I have a full size of this. I love it to pieces and I would definitely want to get little travel sizes of this again for when I go on vacation this summer and I just really enjoy it however I will definitely say this shampoo doesn't moisturize my hair by itself I have to use a conditioner with it or else my hair is like all tangly and kind of like straw so not like straw it's not that dry but you definitely need a conditioner to help make sure your hair is nice and smooth the shampoo by itself is definitely not moisturizing enough so you have to use it in conjunction i bet most people do sometimes i don't use a conditioner so that's why i'm mentioning that but with this i always have to make sure i use a conditioner or my hair is just kind of like all knotted and i don't know why that is but i do feel like when i wash my hair with this shampoo it cleans it really 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 well and leaves my hair more clean for more days than when I use my normal shampoo. So I use this on like very rare special occasions because it's a lot more expensive than what I typically use. So I love it, but it's not like my everyday shampoo. I used up two hand soaps that I just, this one has a story with it, but I'll just get through this one first. Um, the Method Peppermint Vanilla Foaming Hand Soap. I really like this. I like Method. I like that this is like a marble and gold like aesthetic that's just so my vibe. I love it. Um, I like Method Hand Soaps. You can get every lash drip out of here without having to like dump it in your hands. It's just really nice and I would definitely repurchase. And then this, ooh, my foot is asleep AF, you guys. Okay, the Caldrea Blue Spruce Hand Soap. This is a soap that has stayed in our family for years because we do not want to say goodbye to it. But this year we used it up. It is the perfect 
Christmas tree scent and I don't know why we decided to like keep using it this year like past Christmas time because usually we just use whatever for that season and then put it away because it's so precious to us. They don't make this anymore as far as I know. If you know where to find this please let me know. Um, but this is like the Woodwick tree trimming candle. It's perfect. It smells like spruce pine trees like all that goodness it's incredible it's so cozy it's so amazing I would use this all year round but it's more special if you just use it at Christmas time and it's perfect we used to get it at Target but now I don't think they sell Caldrea or make Caldrea anymore so that's a major bummer and it will definitely be missed I used up another container of my first aid beauty facial radiance pads these are such a staple in my collection. I always have them. I use them a few times a week. They're just like little individually soaked cotton pads that you can wipe on your face day or night and they just exfoliate gently. They tone your skin and they're just a really nice product to keep on hand. So I always have these. I have like multiple, multiple um, containers left of them. So I don't need to repurchase anytime soon and you guys will continue seeing them in my empties. I used up the Amara Vixa Queen of Hungary mist. This was a small size that one of my subbies sent me, so thank you so much for this. And I, I just love this. It's expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. But it's so calming. I just love the process of using it, and it's just gorgeous. So I'm bummed that I finished this, but I have other sprays that I'll be using in the meantime, and maybe I'll treat myself to this in the future, but not it's not an essential product by any means this I just wanted to mention I am not really including little um samples like this anymore in my empties because I usually don't have much to say about them but this was the Biosense squalene and antioxidant cleansing cloth so they sell these in like individually um packaged things that I think are perfect for traveling so I took this on one of my work trips and it's supposed to remove your makeup and cleanse your face at the same time but I always do that in two steps so I just use this as a makeup remover I really like this because it's huge it could be used like one side for makeup one side for cleanser like I wouldn't personally do that but I thought that this was a pretty ingenious product I like how it's more like natural than a lot of the cleansing cloths like it has squalene oil which is nice um and it says it's a biodegradable cloth I think that there's a lot of cool aspects about this product and it's possible I would repurchase but probably not since I'm not really like a cleansing cloth type of girl but if you are those are a cool one to look into I have like all of my empties from my project use it up but you guys can check out that video so if you watch that already I'm not like boring you to death with my same thoughts in two videos so check that out um, I also used up the polish choice moisture boost hydrating treatment cream this is one of my go-to's polish choice just has some of my like staple products this is something that I used a ton in the past like a year or two ago and I had one last one in my collection and this is just such a basic awesome moisturizer for any time of the year. I really think that it's a great nighttime moisturizer in the warmer months. It's a great daytime moisturizer in the cooler months. So I use this as my daytime moisturizer for probably a month or two and I cut it open to get everything out. I love that it's a squeezy bottle. It's perfect. It's non-fragranced. It's gentle. It's perfect for sensitive skin and it's just such a great product. And then my final product that I used up this month was the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum 40 SPF 46. So this was recommended to me by some of you guys and I had heard about it a bunch on like blogs as well on Cup of Joe has talked about Elta MD and I liked it but I didn't absolutely love it and I'm wondering if it's this version that I don't like because there's a bunch of Elta MD sunscreens um, that maybe are better but I noticed that this particular one uh, pilled up when I would put makeup on top of it so I would either have to apply it and like not wear any makeup 
or apply it and immediately like rub in my um, tinted moisturizer or something on top because if I let this dry or even like waited a few minutes like it would pill up under my makeup and it just wasn't it's not enjoyable to me for something to be like that because I usually do wear makeup and so I need a product to layer easily with my makeup and not have it be like a struggle. So I mostly use this up um, on my Disney trip because I wore this every single day and I wore it down my neck. Great sun protection and then when I came home there was just like a little bit left and so I slowly used it up over the past like few months and it's good. I like that it is a pump and it's a plastic bottle and it pushes from the bottom up. So you really do get every last drip out of here, but I probably wouldn't necessarily repurchase it. And also the UV clear, um, that like terminology just means that it's okay for acne prone skin, that it's not supposed to like cause breakouts because some sunscreen can really cause people to break out. So if you have that happen to you, maybe try out the UV clear line, but just beware that at least in my experience, it did pill under makeup. So that is everything. Those are all of my empties and one like honorable mention. I finished up my favorite wine and this is from a local winery, the uh, Vinecrest Vineyard, and this is the Spice Winter White and I adore it. It is like spiced apples and it's just so amazing. So if you live in the Lehigh Valley, check out Vinecrest. They, that like place is just so cool. The people that work there are so nice and their wine is delish. So check that out for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. I love doing these monthly because it makes me feel like victorious at the end of every month, no matter how much I used up. And I feel like every month I do have a good amount of products. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and seeing my empties. Let me know what you've used up lately, especially if it's makeup or products that have taken you a long time. It just feels amazing, so congrats if you finished up stuff lately. I feel so wonderful about this makeup that I used up. It's like, yes, finally! So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!